They've completed the Walk of Champions, and now in front of more than 100,000, Alabama on the field with that smothering defense and potent ground attack, hoping to defend their home turf. That's going to wrap it up here in the studio, but we'll be here to keep you up to date on everything else going on in college football throughout our game. But it's time for ESPN's College Football, Brad Nessler and Kirk Herbstreet on the call. We're in Tuscaloosa, Alabama. Population 80,000, and you can bet that most of them are in the stadium today. Hello, football fans. Brad Nessler here, along with Kirk Herbstreet in the booth and Aaron Andrews on the sidelines. Tonight's primetime matchup is brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. And it's between the Ole Miss Rebels and the Crimson Tide of Alabama. their stiffest test of the season. Sometimes, though, when you have a real mismatch, you get the favorite playing a little bit lazy or the underdog having the game of their lives. I'm curious to see how this one will shake out. It's time for the coin toss now, presented by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. The Ole Miss has been waiting all week for this one. Get ready, folks. The opening kickoff is finally here. He'll return it from the one. And down he goes at the 24-yard line. And there's a penalty on the play. Let's see who it's on. You've probably heard it said that there's holding on every play. It's just not called. I don't think it's really that prevalent, but you can get away with it sometimes, and other times you can. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. He drops to throw on first down. Going long. This one will fall incomplete. You had a quarterback's breathing a huge sigh of relief because he got away with throwing what should have been an interception. From their own 14-yard line, second down. They'll run it. He's out to the 30, and he's shoved out of bounds around the 33-yard line. Did you see how much space there was for that tailback up front? He better be thanking his offensive lineman for that. It's first and 10. Ball on their own 33. They'll go ground. Tackle made around the 32-yard line. Call it a loss of one yard on the play. From their own 32-yard line. Second down. Up the middle for a nice game. We've got a third and six here. Ball on their own 38. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. Boy, this is just outstanding execution by the quarterback and the wide receiver. I mean, you look at that throw and you think, oh my gosh, what are you doing? You're throwing that into coverage. But only he knows the confidence that he has in his wide receiver to have the ability to come down with the football for that first down. That's big time there between the quarterback and the wide receiver. From their own 47-yard line. First down. Again with the run. And he's taken down at the 42. They've got a solid drive going here. 
But I know it's not going to mean that much without putting some points up on the board. From the 42-yard line, it's first down. Here's the give. Gains his way to the 29-yard line. That's a game of 15 on the play. That makes it first and 10. First and 10, ball on the 29-yard line. Another handoff, and look out! Tackled outside after a nice pickup. Nice gain of around seven yards on that delay. That'll bring up second and three. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Here's the halfback. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. One yard loss for the halfback. That'll bring up third and four. This is the 10th play of this drive. They hand it off again. And down he goes at about the seven yard line. The defense is having a difficult time stopping this drive. Right now they're doing enough to be in situations they want to be in, but they have to finish the job. And the plays start to add up, so we'll have to see if this defense starts to look tired out there. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. He's tackled at the six. They're at the six. It's second down. It's a call, and he's got the touchdown. And so they're able to finally get this one in the end zone on the ground. You know what? We always talk about the running backs, but i got to give some credit to the offensive line there. They made that play happen. And he hits the PAT. So a 12-play, 88-yard drive, and they add seven points to the scoreboard. It's one thing to give up some yards defensively, but when you're getting pushed around up front on the defensive line and the team's running the football, that's way it can be demoralized. It just can take the will and the fight away from a defense. They've got to do something to make some adjustments to regain their confidence. So the score now, 7-0. He's taken down at the 24. They'll start this drive at the 24-yard line. They'll run the option. He's taken down at about the 33-yard line. That's good for a gain of nine yards. That brings up second and one. He may have changed things up here. And he almost has the INT. Number 12 was the intended receiver on the play. That'll make it third and one. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. Really one of the very tough places to play in college football, and it's no different today. Let's it go. That's incomplete. He made the catch, but it was outside the white line. This quarterback has to just settle down and get his feet underneath him. He took the receiver clearly out of bounds. That kid had no shot to make the catch. He's at midfield. Down the sideline. The 10, and he scores! Touchdown! Boy, that 
with something. Woo, what an incredible display of athleticism and balance. The ability to turn something out of nothing. And he adds the extra point. Alabama is ready to kick it away. He got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. They'll go to work at the 25. Quick out to his receiver. And they make the stop at the 37. Call it a gain of 12 yards. First down. Right around the 34. All the loss of three yards on the play. That makes it second and 14. It's second down now, 14 to go. Ball on the 34 yard line. He throws it. He almost had it, but it's incomplete. It's third and 14, ball on the 34. The intimidation factor is definitely here when you're playing in this stadium. Feeds it to the back, and they get nice yardage on that run. The delayed handoff picks up about six yards there. made at the 29-yard line. And here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. Man, these guys can be aggressive. When you stand back there and take hits like that, you definitely are going to feel it the next day. So the sack makes this a second and long. Almost intercepted there. Number 89, the intended receiver on the play. That'll bring up third and long. From their own 24-yard line, third down. Ready. Looks to pass. He's wrapped up for the sack. The defenders played the snap count perfectly. Yards. They found the path into the that backfield and long. didn't let the quarterback get away. And that's three and out. Nothing going on that series. The sack makes this a fourth and very long. And this one is a beauty. Oh, he got tattooed on that one. The offense will take over at the 50. Open man, quick strike, and he can't pull it in. That makes it second and ten. Second down, ten yards to go. Ball on the 50. Here's the option. Brought down at the 49-yard line. 
A gain of a yard and the quarterback keeper. There's the junior cornerback making a very solid stop. Anytime your corners can contribute like that against the run, it gives your defense another advantage. Drops back to pass. And a nice catch there before he stepped out of bounds. Good job here by the receiver to look the ball in and ensure he had possession. That's the right way to catch a pass. He'll change the play at the line of scrimmage. They go with the option. Makes it out to about the 29. Call it a gain of nine yards. That makes it second and two. He might be playing a cat and mouse game here with the defense. Hands it off. And he's tackled at the 20. Gain of nine yards. That makes it first and 10. Possibly changing the play here prior to the snap. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. As we change ends of the field, I don't think we're going to be seeing much of a change in the outcome. 14-0, Alabama. It's second and 12. Ball on the 22-yard line. What? He's looking to pass. He zips it. This one is incomplete. This is incomplete. Number 83 was the intended receiver on the play. That and they'll look to convert ball. here on another third down. He drops back. This one's going deep to the end zone. Hey, that's a heads-up play there by the defender. Get those hands up and something good may just happen. So the kicking team is on the field. They'll try for three. Kicks away. And the field goal is good. Ole Miss to kick this one off. And this is just a booming kick. He's to the 10. He's to the 20. At the 40. He finally goes down at the 47. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead. And on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. They'll give it off here. Nice run, and he's brought down. That's a gain of four on the play. That makes it second and six. From the 49-yard line, second down. The halfback with a carry. Nice run there. So he picked up a few on that run. Yeah, he did a nice job of using his blockers on that run. Really a nice read. From the 42-yard line, first down. They go right back to him, and he's got a lane. Makes it out to about the 23. The reason why it's so crucial to be able to run effectively like this is it keeps the defense guessing. They have no idea whether you're passing or running, even if you need medium to long range yards. From the 23 yard line, first down. They go to the ground game. And he's pushed out of bounds, setting up a first and goal. That's a game of 19 on the play. That makes it first and goal. First and goal from the four, looking for Pater. They've got their goal line sets on the field. This might be a good time for play action. 
and he is drilled at the two-yard line. We've got second and goal. Ball on the two. Here we go. Right. They go with a run. Touchdown. And that's his second touchdown of the day. This guy has great vision out of the backfield. Even if a hole isn't there, he's patient enough to wait for one to open, and then he hits it. on the extra point. So a six-play, 54-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. When you run the football like this, it can really open up different aspects of your offense. And I don't mean just the play call, but just the timing and the rhythm of the game and of the flow of the game is very important and right now a huge advantage for this team in this offense. The, the score now, 21-3. It's still only the second quarter. We've got a lot of football left, but I've got to say, this one is teetering on the brink of a blowout. And he's taken down at about the 27-yard line. Try to confuse the defense here with the audible. They'll bring him down at the 23. From their own 23-yard line, it's third down. Drops back to pass. Once and all, going deep. Swatted away. He was able to just tip that one away, right out of the receiver's reach. he goes at the 47-yard line. And he was able to pick up some nice yards on the return. So it's time to see this offense go to work again. This defense couldn't stop them from moving the ball and inevitably finding the end zone. Ready. Ready, Ready, uh. First down, look at the throw. Wants to go long and does. And it's going the other way. It's the senior corner. That INT puts him in a position to make this a game. Yeah, they really needed that. That's a huge boost to morale. First and 10. Ball on the 20. A great tackle at the 18 yard line. That's a loss of two yards on the way. That'll bring up second and 12. So it's second and 12. Ball on the 18 yard line. Looking to throw. He's hit and taken down. Makes the tackle. Call it a gain of 13 yards. That makes it first and 10. And down he goes, the 37-yard line. Good for a gain of six yards. That'll make it second and four. He's changing things up. Option here. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. Lost of three yards on the play. That makes it 37. From their own 34-yard line. Third down. He's on the run. 
They bring the quarterback down. Boy, the defense doing a great job of getting pressure on this quarterback. That time they brought the blitz, and the defensive line was able to break through and come up with a big sack. Excellent punt. Tackle at the 31. When he made the decision to return the ball, I'm sure he thought there was going to be some room to run. But boy, did it vanish in a hurry. Still, he got something out of it. Things are on the verge of getting out of hand before we even hit the half. These next few drives are going to go a long way in determining what kind of game this will end up being. And they bring him down for a sack on the play. Call it a loss of six yards on the play. That'll make it second and long. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. He's going to air it long. The pass falls incomplete. Number seven was the intended receiver on the play. That'll bring up third and long. From their own 25-yard line, it's third down. Hunt. Back to pass. Dangerous throw. This one's picked off. He's at the 40. Hey, this could potentially turn this football game around. They're down by a couple scores, but if you're the offense and you're on the sideline and you're not feeling good about yourself and your defense comes up with an interception like that, boy, oh boy, you're grabbing your helmet, sprinting on that field, and you're ready to go. It's first and ten. Ball on the 33. Back to pass. They bring him down. Absolutely perfect call by the defensive coordinator. He brought just the right amount of pressure from the right direction, and it seemed to confuse the offense. Looking to dig themselves out of a little hole here after the sack. It's second and 14. Back to pass with a quick throw. The pass is incomplete. Number 10 was the intended receiver on the play. That brings up third and 14. Third down, and they need to get it to the 23. Quick throw out to the receiver. He's at the 20. He made a really good move at the line of scrimmage. Sometimes all you need to do is throw off the defender's timing just a little bit at the start of the play. From the 19-yard line, it's first down. He drops to throw on first down. And he's shoved out of bounds around the 10 yard line. You can tell he's got a lot of faith in his wide receivers. Even when he's a little bit off target, they can pull it in and make something happen. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. And he carries the ball for a nice game. The Rebels That's taking their first time out of the half. That brings up second and goal. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. Hey, 
He drops back. Here's a throw, and it's almost picked. Almost intercepted in the end zone. And you can see he made a great move here, anticipating the football. He came up with a big defensive play. From the six-yard line, it's second down. Fires quickly, and he's got his receiver for the touchdown. Sometimes all it takes is a little stutter step at the line of scrimmage, or one wrong step in the opposite direction for a play to have success. converts the extra point. A six-play, 36-yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. Brett, I thought the key to that drive really had a lot to do with the quarterback and the receivers getting in sync, making it very tough for the defense to slow him down. He really got a hold of that kick. He's to the 10. He's tackled at the 19. Quarterback couldn't maintain possession on their last drive. Let's see what he does here. The first rule on offense is to take care of the football. These guys need to remember that on this drive. He's taken down around the 25-yard line. Nice pass there, and the quarterback was under a lot of pressure from the defense. You get six yards, and that makes picking up a first down very reasonable. They're about four yards away here on second down. Looks to pass. Fires out to his wideout. He's to the 40. There's very good chemistry between these two. They like to run through all their routes before the game. And I have to say, they look sharp before this one even started. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 46-yard line. Would have been a big play by the defense. He can't hold it. Number two, the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and 10. From their own 46-yard line. Second down. Drops back to pass. Tries to thread the needle and it's not going to work. Brought down. down. Right around the 44-yard line. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 44-yard line. He's back to pass here on first down. Fires that quickly to the tailback. Tackle made at about the 43-yard line. Ole Miss will take a timeout. That's their second of the half. From the 43-yard line, second down. He's looking to pass. Can't find anyone open. And they make the stop right around the 38-yard line. That's good for a game of five yards. That'll bring up third and four. The intimidation factor is definitely here when you're playing in this stadium. He sails it long. Oh, boy, almost intercepted. It's fourth down. It's fourth down, and the offense is getting set to go for it. So we'll probably get one last heave to the end zone here before halftime. Inside handoff. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. It's been a well-fought game as we head to the half. 21-10, Crimson Tide.
And the teams are lined up to start the second half. Number 12, deep to return. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The second half is underway. Here's a quick look at the first half highlights. They'll be looking to get in the end zone for only the second time. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. And he's tackled at the 29. Number 37 brings him down at the 29-yard line. That makes it second and six. Try to change the play. They'll go with the option. And he's level at the 25. The offensive line needs to do a better job of not only handling the defensive linemen, but getting up to the linebackers. That way the ball carriers will have a little bit more room to get to that second level. Third and ten coming up. Ball in the 25. And this stadium is getting loud. Throws in a hurry. It's complete at the 40. And he's finally knocked out of bounds at the 23-yard line. That's good for a gain of 52 yards. First down. Five wide. First down and back to pass. He fires. Oh, he had a shot at the pick. Yeah, the quarterback's breathing a huge sigh of relief because he got away with throwing what should have been an interception. So it's second and ten. Ball in the 23. He unloads it. Incomplete. Almost picked off. The defense always likes to see a pass broken up, but getting the turnover would have been really big. And they'll look to convert here on another third down. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. Quick throw, incomplete. One of his receiver. Number 29 breaks up the pass. They'll call on the field goal unit here for this long field goal attempt. And they can make this a one possession game with this kick right here. And he got it! Yeah, he got some good leg behind it and he kicked an accurate ball right between the goal posts. 21-13, Alabama. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He's to the 20. Tackle made at the 41-yard line. Really nice job here by the return man and his blockers. Now the offense has to capitalize on this opportunity. We're about set to start things up again. Alabama is up by eight. Let's see if they can get the quarterback to attempt to pass this time. Questionable call, but at least they're mixing up their offense a bit and trying to keep the defense on their toes. And they'll go with a no huddle. Quick throw, almost intercepted. A halfback is usually not used to making throws like that. Sometimes these trick plays can give you some big results, so I can see the logic and the decision to try it. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 49. And he's taken down at the 44-yard line. That's a game of 15 on the play. That makes it first and 10. from the 44-yard line. First down. Uh. 
He looks to throw on first down. And he's knocked out immediately after the catch. I'm really liking what I see from this guy. He's not afraid to go to the air on any down. From the 27-yard line, first down. Zipped it out, and that was almost picked off. Number seven, the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. Second down, ten to go. Ball on the 27-yard line. Alabama holds an eight-point advantage. Tackled for a loss. That's a loss of four yards on the play. That brings up third and four. The defense had that one called perfectly. That's a big play on that loss. Third down now, and they need to get it to the 17. Looking to throw. Gets it out complete again to his tight end. Knocked out of bounds at the 13. He showed some excellent moves out there. More than you usually expect from a tight end. That was a big gain, and this offense keeps humming along. From the 13-yard line, it's first down. ground with the tailback a huge play and now they're in a great position to score super effort by the tailback to pick up a nice gain in a first down he's really a good looking ball carrier we're at play number nine of this current drive halfback gets a call and he's got the touchdown He's been a force getting to pay dirt three times. Boy, this guy's been huge today. It's been a big part of the reason that his team has the lead. He splits the uprights with the extra point. A nice nine play, 59 yard drive. And they add seven points to the scoreboard. It looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He hits a booming kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. he goes at the 31-yard line. About six yards on the play. Well, he really didn't have to do too much there to give himself a little room to make the catch. That'll make it second and four. Appears that he's changing things up here before the snap. Gives it right side. He's to the 40. It's great when a running attack comes through for the first down like this. It makes an offense so much more versatile. Looks like he might audible out of that play. Around the 43 yard line. That makes it second and ten. They're calling an audible. Here's the option to the right. They'll bring him down at the 41. And the defense just swarmed over him on that one. Yeah, they were able to penetrate the offensive line and get to the running back before that play even had a chance. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 48. The student section's going crazy. Back to pass. Pass out to the tight end, but it's incomplete. Bring 
bring him down at the 29-yard line. They'll take over at the 29. Inside give. And they get nice yardage on that run. Gain of four yards. That makes it second and six. From their own 33-yard line, it's second down. yard line. The pass results in a first down. I'll tell you, great call by the coaches on first down. It stretches the defense when they're expecting the run, and then they end up with another first down. From their own 46-yard line, first down. Quick throw to the 20. He's tackled at about the 11. Number three makes the tackle at the 11. First down. First and ten with a defense trying to regroup after giving up the big pass. And he makes it out to about the 11-yard line. And the halfback's got nowhere to go. That makes it second and ten. Second down and ten to go. Ball on the 11. the middle brought down at the eight yard line the back gets three on the carry that makes it 37 from the eight yard line it's third down drops back to pass throws quickly and it's almost intercepted Hey, that's a heads-up play there by the defender. Get those hands up and something good may just happen. That brings up fourth and seven. And it's the offense that takes the field on fourth down. And the end zone touchdown. work just like they draw it up, Kirk. Yeah, Brad, you're exactly right. Offensive line did a good job of protecting the quarterback. Good route by the receivers. Results, touchdown. Well, on fourth down, it's always a gamble, but it paid off in a big way right there. He makes the PAT. A nice six play, 67 yard drive, and it's good for seven points. You know, the defensive coordinator and the four linebackers who are trying to get everybody lined up right, they just don't know what's coming next. You know, they're trying to read tendencies. They're trying to get an idea based on the personnel that's in the game. Hey, here comes a run, and that, you know, here's a play action pass behind them. Every time they think it's a pass, the offense seems to be running. Right now, this balanced attack is really causing a lot of confusion for this defense. The offense takes the field again. They were forced to punt their last time out. Down two possessions. This offense has to step up and capitalize on this possession. Throws it and it's tipped away. Number 83, the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and 10. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 25-yard line. made around the 35-yard line. This passing game can be very effective if you don't get enough pressure on the quarterback. They use their personnel well and can be very tough to defend. And 
they make the stop at the 45. About a 10-yard gain that time on the completion on the slant. You leave your defenders vulnerable when it's man coverage. And that time, he paid for being a step behind the receiver. Slings it out there incomplete. Number 10, intended receiver on the play. That'll bring up third and inches. So it's third down, and they're just inches away from picking up the first down. The lineman got a little ahead of the snap count. Here's the call. They'll give this one another try after the flag. And on third down, too, that's when you don't want those kind of things to happen. Third and five now, following the defensive penalty. Great concentration. Makes the reception. Number six with the tackle at the 47-yard line. That makes it first and ten. He might be playing a cat and mouse game here with the defense. Fires to his tight end, nothing doing. Number 83 was the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. Second and ten. Ball on the 47 yard line. He drops back. He rifles it. This is the eighth play of this drive. Number 10 makes the grab. Gain of 11 on the play. First down. He's back to pass here on first down, and he hits him hard at the 45-yard line. I think that one's on the offensive line. They've got to do a better job of holding their blocks, or else this quarterback's going to be pulling turf out of his face mask all game. Defense looking for another sack here on this second and 13 situation. Back to pass. And he's tackled at about the 43-yard line. Nothing going on that play. Well, here I think the quarterback needs to be a little bit more patient in the pocket. That way he can allow his receivers to get downfield a little bit before he throws it. That's three down and one to go. Alabama's lead is 22. They've looked good so far on third down in this drive. Let's see what happens here. They come out in a five-wide set. And he's taken down at the 38. Looks like they're going to go for it on fourth down. The quarterback in the gun. Empty backfield. Five wide receivers in the formation. Quick throw. I think they had to go for it given the circumstances. They just couldn't pull it off. The offense just wasn't able to make a play. The defense was really clutch right there. They'll start at the 38-yard line. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. To the 10. Touchdown time. Kirk, that was a beautiful pass and a nice catch. Well, this is one of those plays you just sit back and admire. The quarterback threw the ball perfectly. And again, the speed of the receiver is the difference in this play. That receiver was so wide open. As a quarterback, you just don't want to blow. That's like having a wide open layup with nobody behind you. And you go up and you miss a layup. You don't want that to happen to you as a quarterback. So the quarterback did a nice job of staying in rhythm, making the easy throw and the touchdown for this wide receiver. 
And he hits the PAT. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. From his own goal line, he's to the 10. And down he goes at the 28. Kickoff returns 27 yards. And it'll be interesting to see how much fight this team has left in them. This has been a brutal game. He drops to throw on first down. Oh boy, almost intercepted. Number 10, the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and 10. From their own 28-yard line. Second down. a great tackle at the 40-yard line. I'll tell you something. I'm loving this quarterback's confidence more and more as this game goes on. He's really throwing the ball with some purpose. Quick pass. And down he goes at the 34. Number 37 on the tackle at the 34-yard line. That makes it first and 10. Drops to throw on first down. This one's going deep to the end zone. That close to being intercepted. Well, you want to do everything you can to keep the ball out of the hands of these receivers. So that was a really good effort. So it's second and 10. Ball on the 34. They give to the tailback. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. They got a few yards there, but they need to be thinking bigger right now. He's changing things up. He tackles him for a loss. Looks like they've decided to go for it here. A quarterback in the gun with five receivers. He tackles him hard at the 13-yard line. That's good for a gain of 15 yards. First down. Empty backfield. Quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. He looks to throw on first down. Well, I love the toughness here by this quarterback. Sitting in into the last second, trying to make a play downfield, only to have this defense get to him. He's got to do a better job maybe feeling things out a little bit, but at least he has the awareness and a toughness to sit in that pocket. Goes to his back, and it's in and out of his hands. Not a great throw by the quarterback, but to be fair, that was pretty good coverage. From the 13-yard line, third down. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Quick strike to the receiver, touchdown. And a nice catch by the receiver for the touchdown. Anytime you're near the red zone, you got to keep an eye for this guy. They love going to him down here. And it takes some real accuracy on those deep corner routes. So kudos to the quarterback. And he tacks on the extra point. So a 10-play, 73-yard drive, and they come away with seven points. Brad, I love these kind of drives. They're old school, grind it out and earn the yards and just rip the heart right out of that defense. Has some daylight.
The offense will come out again hoping to have similar results as their last drive. And it was a really nice drive too, Brad. The quarterback got into a nice rhythm and did a good job of picking apart the defense. Caught, and this is going to be a first down. Tackle at about the 19-yard line. Tight ends can really be a wild card in any offense. Sometimes the defense are a little bit confused on how to handle them. From the 19-yard line, first down. He drops back. Quick throw, incomplete, one of his receiver. Number two, the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. Second down, ten to go. Ball on the 19-yard line. They'll run it. Inside the 10. It's away from him. Touchdown. What a game this kid's having. Four rushes have ended in touchdowns. We wondered if the linebackers were going to be able to slow him down today, and I guess that answer is pretty simple. No. And he adds the extra point. Alabama to kick. And this is just a booming kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Both teams are playing out the stretch here. You want to get experience for guys who normally don't get in the game and try to avoid injuries. Drops back to pass. Got his receiver, dropped it, incomplete. Number 85, the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and 10. It's second and 10. Ball on the 25. Bring him down around the 23 yard line. That's a loss of two yards. That brings up third and 12. From their own 23 yard line, third down. Quick strike and he drops it. That hurts because they really need to get something going in soon. That makes it worth it. Booming kick. He's to the 40. He's tackled at the 42-yard line. He did a good job there to give his team decent field position. I'm sure that touchdown in their last possessions given them some confidence, but let's see if that carries them back down the field. This quarterback right now is in a rhythm, and a lot of that has to do with his preparation. You can see right now with the reads that he's being able to make, getting the football out of his hands, that he's feeling very, very confident in his ability to throw the football against this defense. Number seven was the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. From their own 42-yard line, it's second down. Alabama looking to build on this commanding lead here. Fires to the wideout, first down. That's good for a gain of 12 yards. That makes it first and 10. From the 46-yard line, it's first down. Deep pass to the end zone. And he's got it, touchdown. 
He passes for his third touchdown of the game. The one thing this quarterback does a nice job of is taking what the defense gives him. He's always looking for the open target. He splits the uprights with the extra point. A short two-play, 58-yard drive, and they put up seven points. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He puts it deep downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. They'll get the ball here at the 25. Hey, what? Tosses out to the tailback on the screen. He's tackled right around the 28-yard line. Gain of three yards. That'll make it second to seven. Look at the throw. And they got it. But the defense is fired up, responding and reacting to that sack. Not only did they get the quarterback, but they hit him and hit him hard. I think that can really create some confidence for this defense. The next time this quarterback drops back to throw, you got to be thinking he's going to be a little bit gun shy and concerned about the pressure that these defense is putting on him. Back to pass. It's a bad play overall by the offense. The quarterback's doing everything he can to be able to make the play work and try to execute. The problem is the offensive line did not do a good job protecting him. They're very fortunate that ball wasn't intercepted. Just under three to go in regulation. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. He's taken down at the 42. When he made the decision to return the ball, I'm sure he thought there was going to be some room to run. But boy, did it vanish in a hurry. Still, he got something out of it. And here comes the offense again. They'll try to make it two touchdowns and two possessions. You can bet this defense made some adjustments on the sideline, though. I don't know if they can stop the passing attack, but they need to at least be able to slow it down. That makes it second and ten. Second down and ten to go. Ball on their own 43. He fights forward to about the 46. I don't really know what this one's for. Let's find out. Well, if you want to ruin a drive, just grab a hold of a defender's jersey. Second and long after the penalty. Up the middle. He makes his way to about the 48. Call it a gain of 16 yards. That'll bring up third and inches. It's third down, and they're about the length of the football away from the first down marker. Here's a run. He's at the 40. He gets to about the 31-yard line. I like how efficient the offense looked on that play. Everybody knew their assignment, and it all came together for a nice run. It's first and ten. Ball on the 31-yard line. Less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. Gives it up the gut. And they push him out at the 11-yard line. And that run puts him over the 200-yard rushing mark. It's been a really potent running attack today, and it's revolved all around him and the plays he's made. From the 11-yard line, first down. Tackle made at the 13. Him in the backfield. Loss of two on the play. That'll bring up second and 12. 
It's second and 12. Ball on the 13-yard line. They're packed in tight on the line. Gets to about the 11-yard line. Gain of two on the play. That brings up third and 10. And here's another third down. the corner touchdown well at this point these guys are just out there padding stats and running up the score sometimes you play in a game and you can't do anything wrong you find yourself in a rhythm or a zone this whole team seems like they've been in a rhythm since we kicked this game off he makes the PAT Alabama is ready to kick it away. He really got a hold of that kick. He's to the 10. And he's tackled at the 24-yard line. I don't expect any once-in-a-lifetime rallies here, but that being said, we could still see some exciting plays. Under a minute left. They'll throw on first down. Fires out to his receiver. Great job by the quarterback. He had a slant called against zone coverage and threw it at the perfect time. And he might change the play here before the snap. Way to look it in. That's good for a gain of eight yards. That makes it second and two. Looks like he might audible out of that play. He drops back. They bring him down. So they set the safety on the blitz, and he'll get credit for the sack. Nobody was left to pick him up. He disguised the blitz very well and really made a nice play on the quarterback. Third down now, and they need to get it out to midfield. Looks to pass. He heaves it deep. Tipped away. Just a total lack of competition today. Alabama, 63. Old Miss, 20. Let's get Kirk Herbstreet's final thoughts on this one. Herbie, what do you got for us? We got exactly what we expected to get in this one. Old Miss came out as severe underdogs, and they were absolutely demolished by a much stronger, faster, and experienced football team. Here's a look at today's Player of the Game. That does it for this edition of NCAA Football 13. For Kirk and Aaron, Brad Nessler saying so long.